Problem number four. Consider two identical masses that interact only by gravitational attraction to each other. If one mass is uh, fixed in place and the other is uh, released from rest, then the two masses collide in time t. If both masses uh, are released from rest, they collide in time which one? Solution for problem number four. Let's uh, check the first case. Suppose that the uh, distance between uh, two masses is r, and uh, let's uh, count what is the time to cover distance small dr for the one mass. That will be delta t1 equal dr over v1, where dr is a uh, distance covered by uh, one mass and the v1 is uh, the speed of this mass in this particular point. In uh, other case when both masses are not fixed they share the same change of potential energy it means that uh, each uh, mass has a speed v2 equal v1 over square root from 2 on the same distance uh, r between these uh, two masses, but the uh, relative speed will be twice greater. It means that uh, time to cover for both masses uh, same distance dr will be this one. Delta t2 equal dr over square root from 2 v1. Now to count what is the uh, total time for the first case and for the second case, we can do integral that will be this expression and uh, for the second case we have uh, other integral t2 equal this expression which is uh, squared from 2 times uh, less than uh, t1 so it means that uh, in second case we have time t over square root 2 and that was uh, answer d and that was uh, solution for problem number 4 Problem number five. The density of the earth increases gradually from around three gram per cubic centimeter at the crust to above 13 gram per cubic centimeter at the core. Which one of these plots could show local gravitational acceleration as a function of distance from earth center? Solution for problem number five. The gravitational acceleration is zero at the center of the Earth by symmetry. So it means that the choices A and D are wrong. If the density is constant, uh, acceleration is uh, proportional to R. That's a well-known fact. It could be proved uh, very easily. This means that choice B is uh, for a constant density planet. But in case of Earth, density decreases with the R. We know that mass M growing more slowly. It means that acceleration uh, must grow more slowly than linearly and uh, may even decrease. So it means that choice C is not our case. It means that uh, only case E is possible. That was a solution for problem number five. Problem number six. A very long cylinder of dust is uh, spinning about its axis with angular velocity omega at steady state. Let r be the distance from the axis. If the dust is only held together by gravity, the density of the dust is uh, proportional to which one? Solution for problem number six. By Gauss's uh, law for gravity, the gravitational acceleration at the cylindrical Gauss surface is uh, proportional to lambda over r, where lambda is a linear mass density. The required centripetal acceleration is A equal omega square r and uh, proportional to r. Hence, uh, we must have lambda proportional to r square. 
which is achieved if rho does not depend on r. As uh, in this case, lambda equal pi r square rho. It means the answer is C, and that was the solution for problem number 6. Problem number 7. A trough half filter with the water is uh, suspended from wires as shown. The tension is uh, initially the same in each wire. The bolt is uh, placed in the trough directly under the left wire. It uh, floats without uh, touching the sides of the trough or overflowing the water. How does the tension in the wires change as a result? Solution for problem number 7. The boat doesn't touch the wires or the trough, it only touches the water. The pressure at the bottom of the water remains the same everywhere, whether the boat is over top or not, because if uh, the pressure were unequal, it would uh, cause water to flow, but the situation is static. Therefore, the force from the water is uh, distributed evenly over the trough and the tension is the same in each wire. The wires do support the boat through water system, which got heavier, so the tension in the wires increases. The answer is B. And that was solution for problem number 7.